Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And now we're going to be doing our final uh, model for camera. Um, as I said, I'm just going to do a few of these, I'm not going to do them all. Um, so these are the... Well, when I say the final model, I don't mean the final model from... Um, Mansions of Madness. I mean the final investigator model, I should have said. So, what are we going to be doing? Or rather, who are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing Caroline, Caroline Fern. And as you can see, she looks as though she's wearing similar colours to uh, Joe Diamond. Um, on there, but it looks as though it's just like a top and a skirt. Or is it a dress with a belt? I don't know, I can't work it out. But it does look as though she's wearing boots. So I think what we'll do is we'll do similar colours to um, Joe Diamond um, and see how we go from there. But first, as you can tell, well, well let's go back to the picture. As you can tell, she's a bit of a redhead. So let's stick with that one, shall we? And we'll go with. Oh, which one's the darker colour? That one. Right, so we'll go with Scrag Brown to start off with. And we'll get her hair done. So we'll go all over the hair with this scrag brown and then we'll, when we come back to highlight it, it will give it the look of being more red than brown. We'll see how we go with that a little later and obviously as usual it doesn't make any difference if at this stage you catch some of the other parts of the model because we're going to be going over that in a second anyway. So. Don't be too uh, pedantic about where you put things. Okay. So that's her done. I'm going to change the skin tone because I don't want this to have the same skin tone. Um, we're going to go with... Um, oh, I'm looking for something a little paler. We're going to go with Ungar Flesh. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a hand first just to give the hair a little extra chance to dry because we don't want to be going over the hair. So we don't want to be going over the face with this pale colour um, before the hair has had a chance to dry properly anyway. And a little more flesh there on her hand. I'll rephrase that a little. We have a hood, there's more flesh here on her, her other hand. It did sound a little bit weird the way I put it then. Okay, um, and the boot, so there's nothing there to do, so it's just face now. So, and bear in mind as well, this is another character who wears glasses. So, we will be going over the entire face at this stage including the glasses and then putting the glasses in a little later I 
as we did with the last few spectacle wearing uh, minis. I'm just going to add a little more of the ungar flesh to the hand wearing the gun, uh, wearing the gun, holding the gun. Okay, so that's her hands, no, her and flesh done. And now it's the time for the um, her dress, which I'm going to actually use it as a dress rather than a top and skirt. So what we need is the fang and quite a bit of it. We need a touch of water in that and we need some Abaddon Black. Actually, it might have been a better idea to add the blue to the black to get the shade that we want because I don't want it to be exactly the same shade but I do want it bit to so I do want it to be that little bit similar. There's a nice deep pur uh, purple I think I said that. a nice deep blue and that is going to be going say, all over her dress. be things that we'll be coming back to later to um, pick out when we come to highlight so I'm not really making much of an effort to um, what's the word I'm looking for oh dear what's the what is the word I'm looking for I'm not really I'm not making much of an effort to uh, avoid areas of detail. This is just the base coat after all. So once we've done this bit it's going to be a case of get the boots done and then um, when we come back, it, sorry not when we come back and then we give the highlight, no we don't, we give the wash and then we're doing the highlights. So what the thing is with this being such a dark colour we don't need to give her dress a wash but we'll need to give her flesh and her a wash and we'll be doing her we'll be giving her flesh a wash in the Carol Burr Crimson this time and a her with the obligatory, shall we say, Agrax Earthshade. There we go. And that's most everything. That is the entire dress done. So it's just now the book and the boots that need doing. Oh and the guns. Can't forget the guns. And as I said for the boots I think I want to be doing them just plain black. The guns I will do obviously black. I have the gun I will be doing black. See, I'm doing the gun first just to give 
the bottom of the dress a little extra time to dry before plowing into the boots as you can see I'm doing the bottom of the boots and working up for the same reason as I did the gun first just to give that extra time for the dress to dry I know it's not going to be 100% dry by the time we get to it but every little helps as they say okay So boots completed, not quite, there's a little line there. It's not normally the front of the boots that I actually miss, it's usually other places, but today I thought I'd go different. <laughs> okay, and finally the boot, which is going to be done in like a very dark reddish colour put the black away. What I'm going to do first off is in fact this was always a, a couple of books actually I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do red which in this case is the Wasdaka red and added into that is going to be what little well, a little bit of what remains of the brown oxide. I'm going to have to go and get some more of this very soon because I'm running very short. And a little bit of water. I'm just going to paint everything here in a hand this colour and then When I come back to highlight, I will go over the pages with the um, screaming skull. Oops, excuse me, itchy nose. There we are. So there's the base coating done. Just a little bit of the book that's going to be done down here. Oh, I suddenly start to say book, it's just totally alien for me because I normally say book. Okay, and I need to just touch up a little bit on her dress here where I've accidentally caught it with the, the red from the book and here. Okay, so that's the base coating done. Next, we're going to be doing the wash, which, as I said, this time is going to be not that one, it'll be Caribou Crimson for the flesh, and there we are, Agrax Earthshade for her hair. So, we'll get her flesh done first. <coughs> and it's just a little
there doesn't seem to be much of a colour in this for some strange reason. It's because I've got such a small amount on the brush. But there we are, that's that's the skin tone done. Next we'll get the hair done. And that is just going to be a case of this. Let's get it on and there we are. So that's how she's looking now. Okay. And we'll start off with our well with her dress. In fact no we won't. We'll start off as always as we usually do with her skin. So we get as usual a bit of the skin tone, the original skin tone we used, which was the Ungar Flesh, if you remember. And a little bit of the Screaming Skull. And from there... Go to the nose... A little bit on the forehead, chin, what I want to do is just wipe off because it was all right and just dry brush down. The face is too small to actually get the the proper detail so when you try doing it it's just uh, it's looking wrong so we'll, we'll just do it that way the easy way of doing it there we are okay next we'll keep that on the go but we'll add a little bit of the uh, Scrag brown that we use for the hair. And I'll just add a touch of that to the mix just to change the colour a little. We're adding bit by bit because we don't want it looking a flesh tone, we want it to look in more brown, but we don't want it looking too brown if you get me drift. Almost there. This is something you have to do by eye, it's not something really I can tell you. This is how much you put in. So I just put little spots in until you're ready or you're happy with it. And I think for me that will do fine. And we just Oops. Go over the hair, and there we are. Now we need to do the hair at the front as well. There we are. Okay, and that's how simple that bit was. And next. <clears throat> what we're going to do is get the black and now it's time for the dress so we're going to get a bit of black on the and add the fang And we want it paler than the previous mix, obviously, because it's a highlight. So we'll take that back. There we are. And I'm going to add a little bit of the Calador Sky, which is that one which we used in the 
mix for Joe Diamond that hopefully will brighten it up a touch so I don't know how this is going to show up on camera fingers crossed it will show up quite well but you never know okay and again we're going over the areas that are raised I'm hoping it can be seen on camera I can see the difference in the shade but so it depends as to whether or not you can see it on camera well, fingers crossed you can and it's we've got to be lightening this up again a little more in a second in much in exactly the same way as we did for Joe Diamond's paint scheme and we're just going to gently dry brush the back and then apply a better coat to the skirt Now we'll add a touch of Screaming Skull to make this paler. Oh yeah, just a little bit of water just to keep the paint fluid enough to use. And we go All the highlights not um, covering up the previous colour. And I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more with this, I think. The highlights that we've got here now are adequate for the style of outfit. Um, I don't know if you remember on the Joe Diamond one we did another brighter um, highlight but that's because the, the folds on that one were a lot bigger and a lot more distinct whereas this is quite um, What's the word I'm looking for? Quite limited in the amount of detail that's in it. And it's just as a there we are. So that's all we're going to be doing for a dress. Now she is wearing a brooch around her neck. Um, we're not going to be the, doing the usual trick of underpainting metal with uh, the tin bits. We're just going to go straight into the Runefang steel and we're just going to paint. 
she has a little brooch there. I'm going to have to just touch up along the area of a dress where I've caught it with the steel but no big deal. See that now? It's just a silver, a silver brooch or some such that she's wearing there. Next, what we're going to be doing is the highlights on her boots, which is going to be black. Mixed in with a little wrong one of the screaming skull. And it's just a dry brush straight down the top of the boots now, and now we add a little bit of white to that mix to make it much more greyer oh, not much more greyer a much paler shade of grey Okay laddie, somebody coming out of the flat, be quiet. Thank you. And we'll just dab onto that with the paler grey in a couple of different places just to show where light is hitting. There we are. We'll also, as well, just paint her glasses in with this colour. I don't want to do it in black. Although it looks as though she's wearing black framed. Specs, it's uh, it's not a very good call to put on the face. There we are. And now, finally, we'll go with the highlights for the book, which will be. Well, what I'm just going to do first of all is. Just on the edges there with the with grey that will do for the pages. And finally we'll just dry brush with red. <laughs> well, not, not really a dry brush, it's just add a, a touch of red. To the top edges like so. Can't get that proper, never mind. Oh, okay. there we go. So that's the book she's holding, and now just a quick go over with and 
iron breaker over the gun and there we have her finished for a bit of fun. Get some of the Commodore Sky. A spot of the fang. Just to dull it down a touch. Just go gently over the belt, it's just little brushes down, or little downward strokes, that's not the belt that is. There we are. We may even be able to just pick out a couple of little areas on a skirt and just add a little bit of this to it just as I said just small amounts don't go wild with this now Caroline Fern done. So what we have left is Gloria Goldberg Ashcan Pete Kite Windsock Sorry, Kate Wins Kate Winthrop and finally um, Daryl Simmons and camera. Okay, so I've just got those four to go and then I can start on the monsters. So when we come back for a video for this for this uh, game we'll be starting on the monsters from um, the base game and we're working up to the ones for Call of the Wild. Um, I have been asked by Fun if I pl if I'm uh, going to be showing how to how to paint the monsters. I'm not going to show you how I've painted all of them. <coughs> Much the same as I've not shown how to paint all of these because it would take a long series. Um, what I'm going to be doing is where I've got multiples of the same monster whether it be a cultist or a um, night gaunt or a um, shoggoth or whatever then I will paint one on camera and the rest off camera but I will be showing an example of how I've painted each monster um, on camera um, so uh, hopefully that's answered your question so <coughs> if like the um, the cultists, I've got like four or five of them. I'll paint four. I'll paint one of them on camera, all the rest off camera, and I'll do the same with uh, any that I've uh, got more than one of. The ones that I've only got one model of, then yes, obviously I'll be painting those on camera. Um, but until next time, as always, I will say, take care, God bless, and bye for now.